what's up guys wait what is it <laughs> it's 14th september wednesday and i'm going for my first checkup i don't even know what to expect and i'm taking akhil with me for the first appointment and after that i'm going to be taking my mom and my girls because i just feel like it's a girl thing i don't know boys are very weird with all this but yeah first appointment because i need nobody else knows apart from him and my guy next so i have to go with him i don't know what to expect am i gonna get an injection like a, my blood drawn am i gonna get like obviously sonography let's see also the guy next vibe this is the first time i'm meeting her like i have no idea so i'm gonna take you along with me and let you in on all of that so let's go Still waiting. It's been an hour and a half, and I'm still not gone inside. So basically, the whole day is gone here. But yeah. Hello. Good morning, you guys. It is 15 September, and it is 11 a.m. Today I am shooting some content for you guys, and then I have a dinner to go to. But I just wanted to update you on how I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling okay. Not the best mood. Not very chirpy. Not very motivated. Like I'm feeling. There's no morning sickness as such. I don't know if this is morning sickness. I don't know how it is. But I'm not vomiting for sure. yet i'm not vomiting yet and it turns out yes i went to the gynac yesterday and did not vlog it because obviously they don't allow vlogging and you know i asked she said no is that allowed and yeah it went well our first visit it took really long but the doctor is so good like um and i'm excited because she's so sweet and like when i went and she didn't make me feel like you know i'm just another patient she like called me by my name all the time and like asked me questions so it felt really really good to be a part of like a hospital that really really cares and you know all the doctors are so sweet and um it didn't feel like a hospital it felt like a home i was nervous going into the sonography room because it was my first time going to a sonography room i've gotten my sonography done before for other tests but this was like a this was an internal examination so that was like the first time but it didn't feel awkward they didn't make me feel awkward or anything so that's what i like it was my first vaginal test ever in my life and i'm 30 that's crazy to me so they tested and yeah it turns out i am 5 weeks and 6 days so i'm still not 6 weeks so it's still just like a sack and a little you know how Rachel can't see a sonography she's like I can't see it, Ross. Like literally, that's how it was. It's that tiny right now. She said, "Come back in ten days." So it would be September twenty eighth or thirtieth, actually. And you'd actually, it would complete six weeks, and you'd actually see some heartbeat. You hear heartbeat. Okay, at six weeks. So I was like, "Okay, cool. That sounds good." But I didn't get a blood test done, but I have to get a blood test on Saturday. Um, there are certain things they want to test for. This is where now I'm gonna get really nervous because you guys know I hate injections. But now, f it, I'm gonna like push a child out of my vagina, hopefully, or get a cesarean, whatever, wherever it takes us. But it's gonna be like that is like next level shit. Like you know, so what am I scre screaming about an injection? So. Yeah, I have to get that done. So I'm gonna go on Saturday and get it done. I have to. I have no choice. So she gave me two tablets. One is for folic acid, and the other one is, I think, vitamins. So I told her, please give me small tablets. I can't swallow. So she's like, okay, you'll swallow this. She's she's like so cute. She's like, you'll swallow this small. I said, yeah. So I'm taking folic acid um once every day, and the other. tablet also once every day yeah folic acid is just important for the baby's growth and so is iron and like different things i'm researching now and reading and listening to all sorts of uh, videos on youtube and i order two books so yeah just to sharpen my skills on the baby thing I still can't say it without being funny, you know. I still haven't digested it. Like I was sitting yesterday and talking to Akhil, being like, I can't digest it. Like I, it's not sunk in yet. I'm not reacted the way I was supposed to react. You know, I really thought I would cry and I would be emotional and nothing. Like I just feel differently, and I wanna accept and be okay with that feeling. Like I wanna stay with that feeling and be like, it's fine, Mars, that you don't feel anything right now. It's indifferent. I don't. I can't believe this is happening. Like I can't. It's not settled in yet. And Akhil told me it's possible because you know you 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 feel normal. You look normal, and this it's like this tiny, and you're not feeling it yet. You haven't told anybody, so there's no fluff, and everybody is not like nobody knows except him, right? So he's like, you need to tell your girls, your parents, um, our parents and stuff. That's when you will start to feel 
you know that this is real but i guess i guess that's true i have no idea i'm just going with the flow every single day and taking it as it comes and vlogging my feelings for you guys because i really feel like it's important i feel like my hair is damn dry dude like damn freaking dry i'm bothered by it i'm looking at the viewfinder and i'm just like my hair needs a wash it definitely needs a wash when you expect some reaction and you get a totally different reaction you know what that's like right you're just like uh, why am i not reacting a typical way why are we not doing this like other people and i need to stop comparisons i need to stop looking at instagram reactions and think that that's how it's supposed to be you you have your own journey your own feelings and just take it as it goes and you know that's what i i don't want to be hard on myself for this i'm just like it's fine i just need to tell my friends i need to tell veronica so badly and i'm going to tell her on saturday i need to tell her because i need some girl to talk to dude i just can't keep this in like i have to i i talk to them daily she came yesterday and i was like there were so many instances where i almost mentioned it and i'm just like oh cuz i want to do it in a nice way you know or kill is like take your time and tell them it's the first time you want to tell them like nicely right and i was like yeah so i ordered this these little baby onesies and a little cap and a little sock from zara and they're all beige okay they're all beige I, i'm going to have a beige baby like i don't care boy girl but beige baby that's all and once she knows she's going to help me tell everybody cuz she is my like go to person to cuz i can't do it alone i need help and so veronica gets to know first then my other teammates my mom cuz i want to tell my mom like our parents in a very special way his parents are in america his brother his you know bhabhi they're all there so we want to do it like in a very special way where they're all they all think that okay we took time and thought about this to tell you and they're going to flip like i can't even imagine my mom's going to sob she's going to come live here only and i can't wait like i just want to be like pampered and taken care of and fed and like i'm like a child and i'm like i'm good having a child i don't feel like that you know i think that's why i'm feeling weird and also akhil said because i have too many things going on i'm not able to soak in that this has happened to me I'm waking up and I'm thinking about work. I have to do this. I'm shooting today. Then I have a dinner. Tomorrow I have Masik. So there's not a second where I can catch a beat and be like, "Oh, this has happened." Like you know, straight up confessions of a pregnant lady. <laughs> so I can't even say it. I want to like laugh after that because I'm like, "Ye ho hi nahi sakta. Ye kaise hua hai?" So yeah. Anyway. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I cannot wait to tell you. I'm sure you guys already know it now. I'm I'm also thinking how do I tell it to you guys because you all are like my family. Hi guys, what's up? It's 16 September 2022 and I am severely unwell. So yeah, I got the flu like you can hear in my voice. Um just last night for 3 days actually my throat was hurting and itching. So it was kind of like a throat infection. and then it got worse and then today i don't have throat ache it was so painful my nose is runny and i'm coughing so totally flu related stuff it's all over again i feel like the holiday in coorg and the travel just like i don't know got to me and the weather it's raining a lot and yeah that's it that's what's happening this is my daily update on how i'm feeling it's friday today yeah so i am like 6 weeks I'm not used to saying this. This is me logging my true feelings. After the first trimester, I look back in this back on this video and just like laugh and feel better because I do not feel good. And probably it's because of the flu, but maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. I don't know. People say like first trimester you feel you don't feel your best. You feel very like like nausea and stuff. So no nausea vomiting yet. I had a severe headache for 3 days initially when I found out. Then I got the flu. So I've not been able to like um sink it in. I haven't told anybody yet. So it's killing me. I just it's a huge event in my life and I'm so shocked that I'm not able to react. I'm so indifferent still. Um Akhil is helping me through it. He notices that I'm quite different since I got to know. Honestly guys, I'm I don't feel anything. And that's what he says. Maybe you're not feeling anything. That's why you you know you've not told anyone. No one's like pampering you. No one's celebrating you. So you're feeling very dull and sad. Maybe that's part of it. Like you know my girlfriends don't know having to lie to them. hiding every phone notification i don't know i'm just like hiding things from them sorry girls for that i'm really truly sorry but i just wanted to do it in a cute way because it's happening for the first time and 
last night i really had a mental breakdown like i think it was the hormones or what i can't believe this actually it's terrible like it's uncontrollable i started crying so much last night i just sobbed and sobbed and and just cried i don't know if it's fear if it's me not feeling like i thought i would i was not feeling happy just like really dark negative sad emotions just indifferent and sad i don't know why sad there's no reason to it but i just feel like lonely because i'm not sharing it with anyone that relates to what i'm feeling because it's so on the down low that's why i'm feeling like alone i guess i'm six weeks in this app it shows like a little shrimp that's how it seems it's like a creature i ordered these cute little um beige outfits like the zara cap from zara of course they're so expensive my tops used to be like 1500 bucks now the baby's cap and like small onesies 1500 bucks come on zara like what are you are you kidding but they have the cutest clothes and the most stylish outfits so i'm gonna give it to them for that um i looked everywhere but i could not find baby announcement onesies like it's really really a gap in the market over here i could not find like baby arrival soon or coming soon nothing 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 i amazon googled it it's like four thousand bucks on amazon and i'm just like no and i don't want to custom make any onesie and stuff i don't have the energy for that yes so that is that that's today's feeling and diary of a new i don't know what to say bro like i really can't even say the words if i can't say the words that means i've not accepted it and i don't think this is a reality and maybe moms can agree with me in the comment section down below and tell me that they've gone through this now and you know so that i mean obviously this is not going up anytime soon so i'm way past the stage hopefully and much happier because um, I haven't like smiled and laughed in a long time and I think it's normal to feel like that I guess hello good morning you guys it is Saturday today and it's the weekend I'm glad because I really need to recover it's September 17th 2022 and I really need to recover because um I was so bored yesterday. I was so bored. Like Akhil was obviously at work and I could not work because my energy was so low. Yeah, I was just feeling like ultra ill, a lot of flu, phlegm and like it's just like everything, you know, just the viral once again. See? <laughs> little clog nose. Um, it's a little better today, I will say. Like every day it gets better before, you know it just goes away but then um i'm gonna take saturday sunday tomorrow and then i have to get back to work on monday so i hope i recover quickly today i'm going for a blood test i just i don't know what to feel anymore i'm gonna put my earphones and listen to stay by justin bieber that's my blood test song it's so loud that i just don't even like pay attention so let's see how the day goes i will keep you guys posted hi guys i got back from from my blood test and it was not that bad actually i mean i told myself now i have to do bigger things like i probably have to do like another two three more blood tests that's gonna be a whole other vibe lady and what are you crying about a needle but i was still nervous i played my favorite blood test song called stay by justin bieber i played that song i held some other nurse's hand and she just like drew my blood i you know what i hate i hate when they tie that thing around and pull it like you know when the that just gets me riled up i'm like ah girl if that's hurting me you can imagine what's gonna happen the day i give birth like the hospital will have to shut down but yeah that's the test my first blood test kind of in this journey and i really wanted to do some tlc for my face i am still very nasal and stuff like that however it's 2 30 I'm waiting for Veronica to come. She's gonna come at 5. And I probably will... We're gonna go over some things about work. And then I will probably like sneakily... I still don't know how I'm gonna do it to be honest. These things just need to flow. Because you know I have to... I can plan a lot. But I don't know where it's gonna be the conversation. So I bought these cute little... From Amazon. They're the only brand. It's called Knitroot. The only brand that was doing fun stuff like this. The rest was so, so expensive, but it says Mamu's Drinking Buddy. I'm going to give this to my brother Jay. And loved by all, spoiled by grandma to my mom. 
I still don't feel anything. It's just so weird. I can't believe I'm doing all this. Grandma's grandpa's little sweetie. I thought of giving Akhil's dad that. I love chilling with my mamu. This is for Jake. And Chachi loves me is was for um my sister-in-law but then we were about to go to the u.s but we cancelled our ticket for whatever reason so we're not going to the u.s so i'm gonna have to tell them virtually possibly today tonight or tomorrow night just like tell them or show them the test or whatever but for veronica i i don't know she's the first person i'm telling and i'm so excited because i need to speak to her about it but for now i want to do some tlc i want to get my face scrubbed as i'm wearing this thing and it's been a while since i got exfoliated my face so put my hair up in a bun <laughs> it looks so funny and then i'm going to take the foreo cleanser right this and the foreo machine for the luna the luna 3 and I'm just going to start exfoliating my face. Oh, all right, it's super nice and fresh. Now I'm gonna go in with skincare. I'm gonna take the toner. This has been my day routine for a while. Oh, I really needed that scrub, dude. Then I'm gonna go in with some hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. Now I have to see for if everything's pregnancy safe. My god, all the more I need to take care of my skin now. My god, dude. I just, I don't know. It's like I'm having an outer body experience. It's like I am seeing myself say these things, but I feel like I'm not me. Like this is something totally different. Like this is not happening to me. I feel like it's not happening to me. I put a lot of hyaluronic acid serum. I'm gonna let it settle. Either there are two creams. I love the Saturday Skin one, which has niacinamide. But I won't put that right now. I'll put the Atoderm Bioderma cream. It's really good. I don't know if I told you this, but a few things I can't eat are Asian food. I think I told y'all. Which is my weakness. I love Asian food. But it's okay. Um, because it's got Ajinomoto in it. So maybe when if it's made at home, I can eat it. But coffee, which... That's why half my days are just going miserable. Hold on. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of squalane oil. And I'm gonna put sunscreen in a bit. My face is a little tingly now. Hi guys, good evening. It's September 18th, 2022. Last night, I told Veronica. <laughs> we told Veronica and she cried and then I cried. And then we went out for dinner. And when we went out for dinner, I was starving first day. I was really hungry. And then I had a sudden crash like sudden crash of energy i was literally sleeping on the table at the restaurant because because i just could not hold my head up like my eyes were like shutting i literally wanted to go home so badly so we ate and wrapped up i passed out in the car like and it was just like 11 or something you know and i was so tired without any explanation you guys just tired fatigue so much fatigue and then i came home passed the f out slept till like 10 p.m 10 a.m sorry <laughs> Woke up and just lazed around. I watched Dear Zindagi right now. And Akhil wanted to go out. It was a Sunday. He's like, let's go out and all. And I really didn't want to go, dude. I'm just feeling so lifeless and like blah. I'm feeling so blah. But I'm so glad Veronica knows. So I called her over. I should go out. I should. I've been at home since so long. And I refuse to step outside the house. And I'm just getting, having all these like... I'm just so tired. I don't want to do anything. And I think that's very normal in the first few weeks. It's normal. I know that. But I'm just feeling very unlike me and unreal. Like, I don't feel like it's me. You know, I've, I've missed Miles. I feel like I don't know where Miles is gone. I just, I don't know, dude. I've not been feeling like myself ever since I found out. And it's not a good or bad thing. I just don't know. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to accept it. I'm trying to, like, take it all in. Just not able to soak it in, dude. I don't know. I'm not. It's been so long. I got my blood test and everything. It should have settled down right now. But even after telling Veronica, it's not settled down. And um, I'm so tired all the time. I'd rather stay at home than go anywhere else. But that was even before I was pregnant. <laughs> I didn't want to go anywhere before. But you know that energy level, right? I've completely crashed and that's why I'm pushing all the work to later. I'm procrastinating so much that 
a lot has been piled up and I have a very important um, shoot week this week on Tuesday is just a lot happening and my other team does not know so they have no idea why I'm so tired but they think I'm just like unwell I've been in these whack clothes for days now and in my pajamas and socks and I've looked the most unglam that I've ever looked in a long time I don't intend on blow drying my hair my hair looks like this but I'm sure it's okay I know it's okay I'm just uh, being easy on myself I'm sort of forgiving you know being forgiving because it's just a different journey and I need to just accept and acknowledge that this is a different journey and I'm gonna feel a little different you know hopefully I get to feel like myself once again really soon but right now that's not it I'm already tired so I'm gonna go and lie down and watch uh, Schitt's Creek David and Alexis always make me feel good <laughs> Alright guys bye yes Mads what are we preparing for I showed Veronica this and what is this for? For telling people. Yeah, for telling people that it's happened. I gave one to Veronica and then I have all of these with a matching beige cap. I feel like I'll cry again if I hold that cap. So I'm not going to. <laughs> She's more emotional than I am. <laughs> yeah, I have like held that onesie so many times today. Yeah. And just like hugged it and like, oh my god. And just cried for like five minutes. So cute. And beige socks. <laughs> if this ain't months. <laughs> What is my best sheet is also beige. So you are also dressed head to toe in beige right now, ma'am. I know, right? I was like, no, Zara gets it. They're expensive, but they get it. They're like, this baby needs to be stylish. Exactly. I know how you're gonna dress your baby, bro. I know. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, all of us can clearly. Yeah. So you, I was like, I'll give everybody one one. Yeah, you should. And then I'll rebuy the set because I'll need it. Yeah. It's one day after she told me I'm back here again. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, guys. It's 19th. I had a lot of problems getting out of bed. I had like, I just could not get out of bed. Um, it's a Monday. I thought I would like restart, have a shower, blow dry my hair. Yeah, I just like feel really sick and I felt like throwing up a lot, but I didn't. Um, super pukish and just not like, I'm just like, you know, like this. I'm just like this. I feel so messy. Uh, it's like the first time in my life where I haven't groomed myself in over like a week. I just feel like very raw and rough. Um, I'm just so out of it, dude. I really thought it would be easy, but every day is getting difficult and more difficult. Um, but I hear that's how the first trimester is and you'll get better once the second trimester hits. But yeah, I think I need to tell my mom this week. I have to tell my close people, including my team, because they really need to know what's up. I can't keep telling them I'm not well. They're like wondering why am I not well for like a week now. Super Ill sick types. I'm having strawberry yogurt. I just felt like having yogurt, having some blueberries. That's my condition. <laughs> I have to get to work, man. Like I feel like so lifeless and no energy. And I know this whole vlog has been super sulky and complainy and like all of that. I'm so sorry if I sound like that. I just, I wanted to vlog my true experience and not fake it, I guess. This is like literally how I'm feeling every day. And I always, I wanted to vlog every portion of it. There are waves of like throwing up. It is 6.20. No, more than that actually, 6.30 and it's Tuesday. What's the date today? 20th September, if I'm not wrong. I have known for exactly 72 hours. You're counting every second. Because <laughs> I'm crying since 72 hours. <laughs> but today is the day we tell Varsha and, and Marvaka at this stage is just impatient. I'm just tired now. <laughs> yeah, dude, I've been booked for so many things and I don't have the energy to get up and do it. So she needs to know stat. So yeah. that she can cancel them all for me and be that bad manager and be like, no, she can't do it. She needs to be that person for a while. And while this is real gappy. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of burps and all that. What are your other symptoms? How was your morning today? Horrible. Lot of uh, 
nausea kind of feelings and like pukey feelings but not puking that's mm. even worse it's like you come out or you don't oh no it's like in the middle very cloudy no energy but i still put on a full face of makeup and i shot an entire youtube video on my am and pm routine beautiful you look beautiful i saw your stories and i think oh my god she put makeup <laughs> yeah i put makeup do i was like aaj karna hi hai film so i'm so happy i did it actually and now i think slowly slowly i need to get back like one step yeah. at a time like once a week start filming once a week when i feel like okay i can do this cuz my day doesn't start till 2 3 guys i feel so vomity and pukish that unbelievable i can't start my day my mind is not i only want to rest i only want to rest i want to focus on my health i want to eat good food i want to build my immunity <laughs> protein kha protein <laughs> yeah guys <laughs>